It's a beautiful day out there. I hope that you're enjoying yourself. And as usual, we are here once again to make your day even better. Good morning and welcome to today's live this beautiful morning. I am Prudence Burga and as usual, I have my squad. I have Engineer Tony. Good morning. Good morning, Prudence. <laughs> I have Joyce Jakada. Good morning. Morning. And Sulu Mons. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> It's really lovely I'm to have you to on set. I'll try the solid rock I stand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're back to that slang. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a beautiful day and it's another lovely day to talk about something serious. And we are going to continue our discussion that we already started um, last week on the pain of separation but today we're taking it from a different angle we are actually looking at the pain of separation from a married couple how how do they f- like what in the nutshell the whole is- situation about the pain you find that in a lot of families some people are living together but not really together they're no longer together but they're staying for reasons for certain reasons and they continue to live in pain because you continuously see the face of the person that is that has hurt you continuously so we're going to be talking about the pain of separation and i i think it's one one topic that we find in every community every circle every society that we find ourselves in be it an african society or an american society for an american society it's like a norm right now you just find in everybody's getting divorced and it's like it's not or rather a western society you find that everybody's getting divorced and nobody is really bothered that it's an issue in the african society you find that People are getting separated but still living within their marriages because they don't want the stereotype that comes with it. So we're going to be talking about it in a nutshell. Everything about the separation, um, I mean the pain of separation in uh, between a married couple. Uh, I think, Virginia Tony, can you start for us? <laughs> <laughs> because I feel like you have, you have a vast group of people that you have communicated with and i think that a lot of people have trusted you when did i tell you that no it just you seems like just it said it's better for you to start from the extreme end <laughs> <laughs> no but that, my 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 stand is that i feel like he has um a wider i know that's what you want to say yeah. but it have been safer for you <laughs> to just start it from that you know. okay all right but okay, nevertheless so because, yeah, extreme yeah, end, yeah. extreme end. <laughs> So what do you want me to start with? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, bring you back that question for me. Okay. All right. Okay. Basically, let's just say what exactly leads to that um, situation where you find that couples are still living together. Mm. What are some of the reasons that you have found couples still living together but are separated? Um, avoided conversations. Okay. Conversations that have been avoided conversations that have been disregarded actions that have been unattended to see people are forced to be living with one another not because they want to but they have been compartmentalized (laughs) in that atmosphere that uh, the bible says god hates divorce what will people say you know, and all that. Like someone said, this statement, what will people say? You know, it has done more harm, you know, to a lot of people. But if you see today, it's not every couple that are out there laughing that still laugh at home. It's not. When you avoid talking about issues, and when I say talking, I don't mean the Let's talk, let's talk that we may say no. I mean quality over quantity. It's not two hours, it's not one hour. It can be a minute, it can be five minutes, it can be it can even be one hour. You see, when I want to talk to you as my wife, and you want to prove a point that for five years we have been married, you are the one taking care of the house, we won't settle. 
But when I say as a wife, when I say, see, prudence, this thing has been happening and we need to take care of it. And you understand it from the standpoint of a wife listening to her husband. It will work. It will work. You see, this issue of submission and love, you cannot keep it out of marriage and expect fruitfulness. You can't. People try to redefine the concept of man and woman existing together in the same. It, you can't redefine it. You can't redefine it. Believe me, you cannot redefine it. The author said that this is how it's supposed to be. The woman cannot be loved until she submits. It's, it's, it's just, that is just it. You see, so it, this is not to blame women, but it is to say that <clears throat> men are the vehicle. You are the spirit, <clears throat> or popularly known as fuel. If we don't pour you into the car, we are not going anywhere. But guess what? I'm a car owner. If I don't pour you in the car, we are not going anywhere. I'm a car owner. You can get car everywhere. You can get cars everywhere. But you can get fuel everywhere. Including black market. And that is what leads to the topic of discussion today. Men are always cheating. There's no good reason whatsoever to cheat. But there are reasons men cheat because they are pushed to cheat. Women are always cheating in a manner a man can never even imagine. There are no good reasons as well to cheat from that side, right? But men give women multiple reasons. See, women cheat with pain. Men cheat effortlessly. A woman that is married can be sleeping with another man with tears in her eyes. But she's doing it. Meaning, I really would not want to do this. But you have deprived me of this thing for a month, for two months, for one year, for two years, as the case may be. And man, this, this, when you talk about hormones, they have a life of their own. When they start making demands, you don't know word of God anything. The same way they don't. <laughs> so, you, you just have to minister to the flesh at that point in time. So, <clears throat> coming back to the root cause or the matter at hand. People are living together under compulsion. I cannot live because of my children. Okay, recently I was talking to a lady and then uh, I heard two people crying, kids. So I said, ah, your son is crying with someone. I said, who is the other child crying alongside your son? He said, he's so-so-so person's uh, child. So I said, ah, ah, they came visiting. She said, no, that... Uh, they have not settled because the other lady uh, left home. So why did she leave? They got an they got into an argument repeatedly, the husband. And then he said, "She said, living with you is, uh, is 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 worse than living in hell." Blah 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 blah. Then he told her, you can leave now. If living with me is worse than living in hell. So she packed her things and said, he chased her out. So when she left, I think she stayed for six to eight months. <clears throat> so she sleeps in Joyce's house today. Tomorrow she goes to Prudence's house. Next tomorrow she's at Martha's house. She's at Ruth's place. That's how she... So everybody was getting tired. So the parents said... If he doesn't come here to beg, you are not going anywhere. So he heard, you know, you know, men, if we hear, we'll act based on. It. So when he heard, he started bringing girls to the house. That means he doesn't have intention. 
he disregarded what her parents said. So they were looking for her for about three weeks. She switched off. They didn't find her. Three weeks. So they just said, we don't know what happened to her. For three weeks now, she's nowhere to be found. They, they sent her younger brother, go and tell the husband, since he's not picking her, because go and tell him that we have not seen her for three weeks. So the younger brother went in the evening and he said, this one has brought someone. They are cooking and frying things. He was his older sister. She went back quietly. Nobody called her back. Nobody. So you will get tired. You see, I brought this story to let you know that if you leave by yourself, you will come back. If you don't come back, you will marry upon marriage. Do you understand what I'm saying? You marry on top of a marriage. That means you are married to two men. Because you are not divorced. You are not, you are still, even in the legal uh, space, you are still a married woman to that man. A lot of things happen for reasons that people are not faithful. For reasons that people are not truthful. For reasons that people are not open and sincere. What happened? You said you normally come home at 8. Today you are coming home at 1 a.m. What happened? Are you mad? Did you marry me or I married you? What kind of answer is that? I have a friend who is always saying, now you see, now my wife will call me. She'll be asking me where. I say, ah, if your wife calls you. Yeah. I say, where are you? You don't know the name of this place. Tell her where you are now. Mm. Anytime we're together, I say, we just wait and see. My wife will call me, Nana, ask me where I'm. I say, if she doesn't ask you, does she love you? She doesn't love you. Like a woman that will just leave her husband. I let him go and do whatever he wants to do. She mm. does not love you. She doesn't care. So when they, they call him, he say, you see, she's the one. What is it? I say, I will come back. It's wrong very wrong i am at so 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 place i'm with my friends i'll be home by so 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 time that's how men behave when you start shouting and start doing that is what i will address madam what's your problem i told you i was at this place with these people i even went ahead to tell you i was discussing this and this and this with them positive things that can even bring income and you are angry no i told you i was here with so 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 people and i'll be back by did i come back they buy if yes what's the problem you see when you start thinking that i'm cheating right talk to me about it i think you're not faithful i think there are things you are hiding because my instincts tell me this my instincts tell me. so i think you are not i will address it how I'll let you know that I'm not in a manner that is consistent with the love that I have for you. But if you say, nobody will convince me otherwise. You are, you are following women. You are cheating. You are this. And God will catch you. I will not address it. What is there to address? No, what is there to address? Nothing. You have made up your, your, your mind on the subject matter. What am I addressing? I leave you with God and your conscience. But you see, when people ask questions that deserve or demand answers, give them the answers and give them the right ones. Give them the right ones. The issue of relationship is one very interesting like, mm -hmm. and uh, a topic that you find almost everyday people discussing. And it's one that always draws attention of people. Like, oh, I'm, I want to know. Oh, let me see how it affects my old relationship. Oh, let me see how I can <laughs> adjust my ways and all of that. Someone said the greatest motivation for people that didn't go to school is seeing people that went to school and unemployed. And then they will say, <laughs> can't you see this one? You are disturbing to go to school. See this one that went to school. Is he working? Is not even working? And today, the greatest motivation for people that are not married is seeing people that are married and then separated like they are in the house together but they are not in talking so terms so that it can favor the errors mm. that they are living in already that's, that's true and, and then people will just tell you oh, you're busy disturbing me get married get married see you you now people are even bold enough to tell you that you that you're married that you have 
So in the are in, you in talking terms with your husband? The entire world, mm. in the entire community, the local government, mm. the state. So they th- didn't see any family that they are doing well. <laughs> well, it, that, that they will use the negative one. That, that's you know? why I said even, people even use that though, to justify their. Joyce, ass. Joyce, you can never find a family mm. that is hundred percent happy. That's true. That's that, true. That's mm. very true and agreeable. But the problem now is that we are too focused on the negative side of um, marriages, and we relax thinking, oh, even if I do marry, I'm expecting that. For a lady now, before you get married, some people are already telling you it's a man's nature. He he would always cheat. So before you're getting married, you're already thinking he's going to cheat. Anyway. Yes. Anyway, he's going to cheat. Or is he normal? Yeah. Is he normal? Mm. Or ah! or that's men wrong are, theology. Men are or you're insane. getting married and mm. you're thinking something will happen, and at the end you, we, we might just get divorced. We do not like, all marriages end well like sometimes we get said, divorced most times people use such statements to just justify their their own lifestyle and all but the, the the intention of marriage or the intention of a man and a woman coming together is to mirror god's image mm. is to 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 there there are so many beautiful reasons attached to getting married it's just so unfortunate that today you see couple people that are married and they are just unhappy people are just living together but they are not together mm. they are they are actually separated sometimes it baffles me i just keep thinking that ah, where is the love like before you got married if this person is your everything this lady is what you guys like, are always together everywhere hands together oh my baby my love all of that what happens that that's now? Part of relationship. <laughs> so <laughs> what happens <laughs> now that you're married and that you can even go to church together like the husband is in front the wife is behind when church closes this person is going this way the other person is going that way you you, you live like enemies mm. interestingly joyce mm. you actually find a couple that will come to church holding hands laughing together and smiling but it's just for the church so, yeah that so you will find well. a lot of things like that going on you can't say who is in pain or what or who is not in pain in a marriage in fact at the end of the day you find that both parties are in pain within this marriage and nobody is actually coming up to settle it or rather if one is ready and open to settle this issue between us the other is not and yes. it's either because this other person has been pushed to the wall to the point that Me, I don't it doesn't really I'm angry, I'm angry. <laughs> because the bible did not say i should not get angry mm. But there are conditions attached to my anger. Yeah. Uh, so if I'm angry, I'm, I won't hold hands. Mm. If I'm angry, <laughs> I won't lock arms. I won't. I'm, I won't. If I'm angry, in fact, there was a time I was angry. We were going out. I asked my son to sit in front. <laughs> so I said, anybody that is not going should go back to the house. <laughs> you know. So is 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 anger? You express it. Mm. When your wife is angry, she shows it. Mm. In my house, when you hear, <clears throat> are they watching? <laughs> Please call my wife. I hear if she's watching the show. When you hear them covering pots loud, bow, bow, you know there's anger in the house. So sometimes when I go, I'll just be like, I start cracking jokes. When you see a very funny joke, not funny anymore, then the matter is serious. You ask, Ah, what's the problem? If they say nothing, you say, Okay, you people should get dressed. Let's go out. Let me see if everybody will order you, you will not order. Once she orders, that means it's <laughs> because me. If I take when, anytime I take my people out, I tell them whatever you order, we'll eat it there. Nobody's eating in my car. I'm not washing any kind of money. So they'll say, No, they will wash it. No, I'm traveling 6 a.m. So they will say that night when they get home. And when you get, they will always come when you get home, they're all asleep, <laughs> you know. So when she orders as well. You know that okay, you are beginning to settle, but if she says, I don't feel like anything, I'm not really not in the mood to eat anything. So me sometimes I will just say, Give me Pepsi or give me Coke. I'll hold it. They are licking the ice cream, doing all these things. When we are going, I'll turn off the music, turn off everything. So me too, I'll start showing like I'm angry. Because something made you angry. I did something that should make you happy. You are angry. So me too, I'm angry that you are angry with my with my holy actions. So before you know it, sometimes it's not everything you talk about. As a married man, I'll tell you. There, there are things that you did not address, but they died out. 
you never paid any mind to them, but they died out. You know, and then there are times that when you see certain things, you need to stop whatever you are doing, address them immediately. Imme- like address them immediately. I think you see, we're talking about uh, the, the pain of separation. You need to ask people that are separated. I think they will tell you the pain better. If you ever had any relationship that you love the person, whether a man or a woman, so dearly and you are so sincere and you are intentional about that relationship and at the end of the day turns out to be a rug, then you will know what we are talking about. We are talking real pain. That anytime you hear someone bearing that name, not even seeing him, or talking about uh, uh, um, uh, seeing someone that looks like the person, Mm. whether uh, male or female, or talking about you seeing the person. Like, maybe it's in an organization, you started a relationship thinking you get married and something went wrong, and they always you are together. You have to come to work, you have to work together. Sometimes you are in committees (laughs) together. You understand and you have to deliver and then um or you say you live in the same community or in the same state that every week you meet it it's it's painful but you see all of these things all we are saying this because we know it's not easy because some people um is because there are certain red flags that we neglected I was going to ask, what, ha- what happens to people that are married and then they, they, they now say, I think you both are in a better position to respond to this. <laughs> like, you're my... Because we're always fighting. <laughs> <about this. laughs> you hear a couple, uh, you hear people say uh, they're married and they say, you're my greatest mistake. I regretted getting married The same married thing to happened you. in relationship. Mm. And then you understand mm. it's the same thing happening in relationship you are my greatest mistake i wasted my time mm. with you six years and now you are telling me we are not getting married and the rest you know the pain you know how so you so now feel. that you're already married to the person after the yes i do and now you're seeing because someone i heard someone saying he told his wife that matter kina like women kina mm. like you cannot finish knowing them mm. so just when you thought ah this is the one she has met all your standards after getting married to her, then you're seeing a different character or a different attitude that is showing up. And you're like, wow. And there are people that will tell you, I was deceived into getting married to, I was to coming this to person. So, so how do you handle that? Because you, you talked about the fact that the pain is something that is <laughs> is really painful. <laughs> so how do, you handle, said, how do you handle? Foundation is relationship. Mm. And that's why I talk about red flag. It grows to the marriage. Red flags, you neglected it because of the mushy mushy feelings. I use your word. <laughs> the mushy mushy feelings, you feel it doesn't matter. This person will change. And like I said, in the relationship, what are the both bringing on the table? If all of you are genuine, it doesn't mean that you will not have issues. But it's in the way of handling the matter that you will know there is maturity and there is love. But if one is coming... <coughs> with deceit you don't expect the other person will live in pain until he dies wow. yes it's only the word of god that will console you but the pain will be there that's just that's just An it. apple doesn't fall far from the tree you've heard that before right mm-hmm. okay or a fruit does not fall far from the tree it's under that tree right there's no way possible that you'll be dating somebody for a year and not know who he is, except if you chose to disregard all of these signs that you were given. No way possible. People can hide, but in their hiding, there are suggestive elements that will let you know this guy has tendencies of stealing. This guy has tendencies of heartbreak. This guy has of breaking hearts, rather. <laughs> this guy has tendencies of lying. This guy has, even if he has not lied or stolen from you or cheated on you, but he has tendencies. So 
one way to avoid the pain of separation is from the relationship. Joyce, the right let's even leave relationship and talk about our health. And I explained this linking it to the relationship issue. Do you know the two common diseases in Nigeria? They are typhoid and malaria. Do you know? Do you know that they are avoidable? They are avoidable. If you sleep in the nets and protect yourself against mosquitoes, however you want to do it, you won't get it. When you take the water that is purified, you won't get typhoid. When you avoid these mosquitoes that bring malaria, you won't get it. Right? Why do you see mosquitoes in your room but you still sleep with your body exposed and not expect malaria most of the women that are falling victims of funny and painful circumstances they have been forewarned go and check Do you know how many ladies Hassan went out with that you want to be the, the 47th one and he promised you marriage? Even if it's not true, find out. Ladies can be a bit foolish, sometimes extremely foolish when they're in love. Men love unconditionally. Women don't. I've explained this on the show. Do you agree? Is the truth. You marry us based on can you provide? Can you take care of me? Can you, can you, can you, can you, mana? <laughs> <laughs> but we marry you based on what we see, not minding what you can bring. But isn't it what you see a condition? It's not, it's not, it's not a vocalized condition. Mm. It's just what you, uh, no lady sees a man. Like this and say, I'll agree to marry this man. Without the man talking to her. But a man can just see a lady from the way she's passing. She just, he'll be like, ah, Solo, who is this girl? Wow. I just, don't go there. She has hot. He'll be like, apart from that, is there anything else? Thank you so much for the advice. Can I have her number? Well, I can give you his inner number. And then first six months, she showed you who her older sister is. The second three months, she showed you her younger sister. And then you start planning for a wedding. And then herself starts showing and you say, no, it's the pressure of planning the wedding. <laughs> I was in Gombe recently and I called for uh, some services. And uh, I was with Israel and Panambandi. And while the services were offered to me, someone was busy calling. Where are you? What are you doing? Ah. She was like, I'm with a client. I'm walking. I'll soon be there. I was like, no. He hung up on her. Oh, Israel, now. We wanted to say something. And I said, ah, if it's a problem, why would not you just go back home? And I know. Ah. You see the one that is going to give me money? You see? You see? But if, if the Bible says that the husband is the head, if your boss at work calls you to say, Joyce, take this cup to admin unit. On your way, he calls you and says, come back. What will you do? Come back. Why is the case of husband and wife different? Meanwhile, before God, you will not give account of what you did with boss, but you give account of the covenant that God acknowledged between you and Solo. We don't spiritualize marriage. That is why everything about it is so shallow as far as we are concerned. We don't spiritualize it. I, I, I want to agree with what you just marriage said. Marriage is the most spiritual thing for the simple reason that God started it. You know, mm. I, I heard a couple saying Simple. this. I heard a couple saying this. just to build up on what he said, how marriage is a spiritual thing. And he's like, she, uh, it was a woman that was saying this. She said that after the fall, 
um, a lot of things crept into relationship. In fact, everything was just um, was infected is the word. So the natural cause of something that is infected is that it would decay. Yeah. So imagine that you're not, as he said, it is a spiritual work. And then you get into a marriage and you are not approaching it spiritually. Rather, you're just allowing it to have to take its natural cause. Then it would decay. Because that's the natural cause of something that is already infected. And that's how a lot of people are approaching marriages. You're not looking at marriage as something that is ordained by God. And so it d- needs divine thought that like the approach that you're approaching it should be divine you should you should have um deliberate and sincere efforts mm. put put into mm. such kind of relationships um and i'm i'm just i'm, I'm actually stealing her words right now <laughs> because she said things like that and 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 she 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 said that at one point um her husband made her so angry and he was seated beside her and he was smiling at this story so he made her angry to a point that they were in a car and they were not talking they were they the music was not even working they t- turned off the radio they were just walk, uh, driving in the car and th- or rather i think he told that story and and she's like she called him my name and she's like you see the thing about this is that at the end of the day it's me that God will hold accountable for how I reacted to what you have done to me. Mm. Not what you have done. No, it's not God's not going to hold me accountable as to what you did to me. Rather, it is what how I reacted, reacted to you. So there are reactions, there are behaviors that you're giving in your marriage. Mm. And now I'm talking from what I understood. There are behaviors, there are attitudes, there are reactions that you give within your marriage that at the end of the day, it's it it's it's goes either on the natural cause which leads to decay or the spiritual cause which leads to glorifying god at the end of the day so when you're in a marriage you need to consider all those aspects but you see we don't do that we just want to see okay i am entering this marriage with a mentality that ah, he's a cool guy so everything in my marriage has to be cool okay you see she understood the concept of god when it comes to marriage that's why she's talking like that. And any woman that understands the concept of God concerning marriage, that's the way she would behave. Either the man or the woman. Because marriage, number one, is a mission. So what mindset are you going into it? Are you going into the marriage because it's a mission that God has, God has given you that you have to fulfill? If you are not seeing it from that angle, then you have lost it either the man or the woman, or both. And you can imagine if, if a woman is a, is, is a, is, is a, she's been created to be a, a helping mate to the man, that means in the mission that, that God has given them. Because the expectation is for you to, to, to bring out a godly generation. No matter what the situation, no matter what the community, no matter what the country, that's, that's the expectation of God. You are to stand out. But you see, that's the reason why we we're talking about the foundation earlier. What mindset are you coming? Just look at it when you talk about relationship. With what intent people go into relationship, even if with the thinking of we are going to get married. They are not going into it with the mindset that we are going into the mission of God. Because God ordained it. Like you rightly said. It is the most spiritual. Take it. Is the most spiritual because anything that starts, the child that today you say this child is 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 is, is well behaved, you know, check check the the root, is from the family that is coming, and that's why people out will point out and said, uh, uh, no, this child, you know, I can speak for him, he's this is that, is from the family, and that's the expectation. So how do you expect a family that that already is decaying, and you expect? Like uh, engineer uh, Tony said, you know, uh, uh, a, f- a fruit far away from its 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 tree is is not possible. So even in the relationship, we disregard that. The thing you hear about relationship now is like I'm getting old. Kai, Baba, now far as harba harba infa, supposed to get married. 
you know, I'm, 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 I'm getting 40. I'm supposed to get married and settle. And you hear people that, I want to marry and settle. Like, hello? <laughs> and you hear somebody, somebody, somebody will say... Someone actually said that that's the greatest scam. Which yes, that's Lina. Yes. He said and then you hear somebody is like, okay, now I'm a graduate. Uh, I'm done with my, my service, my NYSE. I, I need to get married. And you hear parents pressurizing their children mm. that I need to see my grand, grand, grand uh, a child. Mm. L- like, hello? Sambo Solomon, all these reasons you gave and more are the reasons why, as part of the reasons why a lot of people are living, uh, are married, but are going through pain of separation. Because w- when you go back, looking at the foundation what were your reasons for choosing that partner for settling for that partner what was your idea of marriage what were you thinking in the first place because most of us attach certain reasons that are mundane reasons that have nothing to do with god appertaining marriage you just look at this lady and you feel oh when i get married to her because she's from a rich home all my needs are going to be taken care of and you got married to her unfortunately for you all her investment or her father's investment everything went down and you start feeling pain or you start feeling oh i made a mistake and then you are just living with her that's when you're realizing i shouldn't have married this this girl and all of that and the same thing some ladies just say oh i cannot move from from grace to grass so the guy has to be rich he has to be wealthy he has to take me around the world like these are some of the reasons he has to be huge he's fine they tell you that oh you want to get married to this guy why oh that guy is handsome he's cute he's this these are your reasons and you get married and you see that reality is done (laughs) and then you're seeing that no marriage Marriage is actually beyond those reasons that you gave. And quite, um, like, sadly, Sam was Lumon, like, do you know that there are a lot of people that have lost their lives because of the pain of separation? You are married, and then each time you see your partner, you feel that hurt, that pain. And some people feel, oh, I can't take it. The best I can do is just to take my life. Some people just take all the sniper and other things and so that they will just die. And for some other people, they decide to kill their partners. They're, we've had stories of people poisoning their partners, people stabbing. There's a lady that, I think while she, the husband was asleep, she, she either cut his, his ears or was it his private part. You hear of stories of husbands pouring acid on their wives because of how pain they are. And some of the people that feel, oh, I was deceived to get in, married to this person they hate the partner and they feel because i'm a christian i I cannot move out of that marriage the societal expectation the church expectation and all then you are in the marriage hating the person like have you had someone speak about his 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 wife or his husband and you wonder how did you how did you get married in the first place if you can hate so hard on this person and like you rightly said some transfer this pain this to this children. to the children you give back to a child and you so much hate the child i think we can correct this like marriage is not without challenges we need to understand that because there's no human that is perfect there's no human that is perfect so and then yes you have the right to get angry but there are also conditions attached to it as the uh, scripture described you can get angry but don't let the sun get down and then this avoiding of communication is what leads to even the pain or, or people being separated there are issues that need to be addressed you don't talk about it and it's either you're waiting for him he should he should better he should open up and first. talk and you there's something that is bothering a, a lot of women do this they don't talk there are things that they are not happy with but they will not talk and then you're waiting for the man to talk if you will not talk about it you just be giving attitude or just actions that will show that you're angry you have to be able to, you should open, open up, up and then talk about out. whatever the grievance is whatever the pain is speak about it and probably in, by doing that you can find solution to, to whatever is causing that pain <laughs> and for the people that are yet to get married i think you should revisit that relationship you're into a lot of people today are married but they are separated and they are living in pain so you that you are planning to or you are yet to get married what what is the condition that you have attached to getting married to that person what is your reason for getting married i think you should revisit all of that see you can't marry somebody that does not reverence god or does not fear god and expect a lot you end up being married and separated very true and well said joyce and i also wanted to add this um please don't compare your marriage to somebody else's 
don't expect that what Joyce's husband is doing to her, your own husband has to do to you too. Well, she has your husband. I'm just saying, for okay. example. <laughs> <laughs> we are not aware, that's why. <laughs> He's still on his way. <laughs> from Macaudi. wherever he is. <laughs> from Macaudi. Okay, so so don't expect that what you see Solomon's wife is doing, that's okay. what um <laughs> Engineer Tony's wife will be doing. No, it's not you don't expect that that somebody else who is named Martha, for instance, is going to behave exactly as Ruth. No. They're two different people. Every person that you're marrying is an individual, comes from a different background. So you should find out. Mm. That's, That's why it is important to study. Pe- for people that marry some people, mm. like you you sit down and you you are like, you, you are here. <laughs> Look at what this man is doing for his wife. Mm. And then you're not looking at what his, act, his source of income. Mm. But you are just looking at the fact that he's also a husband. You two are a husband, but you're not doing what he's doing for his family. And, and the lady too is also looking at, there are men too that also look at, and you know, that person's wife is supporting him. She's doing this, she's doing you that, do you are not doing anything, you're just... Do you know there are some women that will tell you that if you like, go and kill, <laughs> go and do ritual. All I want is for you to bring money into this house. I don't care. And, and you're you not see, appreciating the, no, probably if, this if person own, loves you like no tomorrow. You're not appreciating nothing that the person no, is no, doing. You know, but um the truth of the whole matter, you see this real love, it it takes care of so many things. This what? Real love. Real love. Real love. R- true love. A L love. Love. Real. True love. Okay, okay. True love. Okay. I mean true love. Takes care takes care of uh, so many things. Because if you look at it, if we would love genuinely, genuinely, there will be no need for please. There will be no need. Because the way I will love you, I will, this, this, I will, I will not. You I, love her. <laughs> <laughs> becoming. T- yeah, yes, yes. The, the way we will express our and love to down. each, to <laughs> each, to each other, yeah. right? Take it easy. <laughs> Is 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 not you? You know there are terrible things that are happening out there in the name of love. Is 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 painful if you are genuine, you are truthful, or whatever you yeah. are doing, and somebody is taking you for granted. Exactly. Simply because you believe Christ, you believe certain things, mm. and then they take you for a fool and they ride. Like your experience. Yeah, whatever, whatever. I know I had so many good relationships that didn't turn out to end well. Mm. You understand? I I I think we are doing this show mm. not because of anything, but because some people not to um we are trying to help some people out yeah. there and we are learning because in from your own contribution i learned too mm. you understand we are learning there are some people that confine in us you are, you are about to tell us to, uh, one of the relationships you say you are you have been in <laughs> no. plenty relationships that you didn't turn yeah. out well. <laughs> what, what what i mean you uh, said 70 <laughs> <how many? laughs> and your heart was into that relationship but yes so but, 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 but is so enthusiastic but, but, on the show like but, like but, now <laughs> you are remembering pictures that have passed yes ah, ah. however however you want to see it <laughs> but the point oh, I get <laughs> the point is that you, you still love that woman why are you getting angry <laughs> You, you people are just getting me wrong. No, you are living no, in the are, separation of no, 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 eight no. years you ago. Are, you are getting me wrong. <laughs> what I'm trying to say, I know people are watching. I don't know what people mm-hmm. say concerning this this this, <laughs> this particular yeah. show. Mm-hmm. And you see, sometimes it's not what happened to you you bring here. Mm. Yeah, sometimes we talk out of experience. Mm. It, it's just you say about them, not because you are remembering and you are sad about it. Mm. Any relationship that I know, I'm truthful about it. Mm. I don't regret it. Mm. Because I know God will never ask me my own part. I did my own bargain. Mm. Like, she, she, like she said, when the woman is saying, because the man acted wrongly to you, mm. God is not going to ask the woman, why did the man act that way? No. Mm. He will ask, what was your response? Mm. That's just it. Mm. If the man is responsible for his action, God will ask him, why did you act that way? Mm. And he will ask her, why did you react that way? Mm. So everybody is res- responsible for his action. Mm. You know, some people have confidence in us. And they tell us certain things concerning relationship and how bitter they are. And they ask you, they want to, they need a help mm. or dear about. Mm. That's the reason why some of the things are coming here. Mm. You understand? So, but, but, but you see, 
like I said, the pain. What, how do you feel when someone promises you something and, and you see him playing over you? Making you to look stupid simply like because the guy that raped yeah. the lady in school and then she says, like, yeah, yes, yes, like you can you imagine that you can't imagine she wants to settle yeah. him with five hundred. You can't imagine his pain. I did say that. You I, understand? I, I, I understand that it will be painful, yeah. but I think the person was foolish. Personally, that's a personal opinion. Yeah, maybe I you, feel he maybe you have see it that way. I, I don't think he's foolish because that day you said, uh, yes, even though he's training her, he should have trained himself. <laughs> you understand? I said build himself, not build, train. Uh, yeah, but train even if he has yeah. enough to build himself and then he see he, so this where, lady that he's in love with. Where, where is, where is the, why did the person pay school fees of somebody that he has no business paying fees to? Exactly. I'm asking Joyce. <laughs> He's in love with the girl mm. and he has intention of what getting kind of married love? to her. What kind of love? Pure love. You can't her. you can't do things based on intentions. Okay. See, so the the point is if I'm paying your fees and I love you, that should be the reason why I'm doing it. Not because I'm getting something at the, at end. the end of the day. That is why people get hurt. When you do things with the expectation of payback, mm. you will be hurt. But but me I look at it differently. Why would you look at it differently, okay, sir? Okay, sir, this is my point. But the thing is, go. This is my point. This is the point. Okay. Solo, I'm giving you 5000 from my salary every month. So that any policy I bring to the office, you'll be the first to support me. And that's the reason. And then, I gave you for the month of July. And I said from today, this new policy, uh, how many people, I'm expecting you to be the first to raise up your hand. And you did. And he said, truly, sir, this is something we cannot abide by after you have collected the 5,000. That is what he did. But if I give you and say, ah, since uh, I earned 2 million and you earned 20,000, mm. I'll be giving you 100,000 for my 2 million. Mm. And I didn't attach anything to it. The day you, did, you don't even greet me, I'll still do it. Maybe the reason why I'm doing that is because of your children or because of your rent or because of your car fuel, or because of something. I just said, let me be doing this 100K for solo. You are not even aware how many more people I'm doing that to. Mm. He was paying fees for the primary purpose that she will marry him. That's why he, he showed his disappointment when she refused. They were mm. already in relationship, and then she showed interest of in furthering her education. Mm. He has the money. He mm. can afford it. She's coming from if a background where If he wants to marry her, Joyce, if he wants to marry her, what's wrong in marrying her and sponsoring the education? She's probably not prepared. My my point see, here is, I that's think why I said there are, are no there are no there are no rains without signs. Mm -hmm. The clouds will gather, then we'll know it's about to rain. Nothing happens just abruptly or all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. There is no way you can. This thing has happened in my area, mm -hmm. the former place where I lived in Abuja. A woman, old woman, living with her son, the youngest. He was paying fees. This girl would finish from school and come to their house. And they were in one room, him and his mom. One room. This girl finished school. She absconded. She disappeared. And he heard that she was planning to get married. On what grounds will you go into such investment? You are not a rich person that you are doing a charity organization for people who are less privileged to go to school. No, you are doing it because of love. And the love is not the love of now. It's the love for today, tomorrow, and future. So why won't you, why why do you think that the person will not be disappointed? I think that at this point for me, the only issue should be uh, because there are a lot of people that are also doing the same thing. Mm. Like they are sponsoring their girlfriends or girlfriends sponsoring the boyfriends, hoping that mm. because of what they already established. Hoping that. Maybe the expectation should be what should How be can managed. You take hundreds of thousands and pay somebody school fees with hope in your mind <laughs> well, well well for me no with hope in your mind she's not your daughter she's not your cousin she's not your i have relatives that i'm paying fees for i'm regretting if i'm not planning to marry them i mean relatives because some of them when they finish school they don't even come back to say ah sir i'm grateful or anything no you just hear that they are serving here they didn't they just cut off but at least I gave you education. I have a lot of them. I still have some. It will shock you to know the amount of people who cry out for help to me every day. I don't do it because if I have it, I do it not expecting anything at the end. 
That was why I said managing their expectations. You should know that this lady might decide that she's not getting married to you. But if you're going to do that, that's because you love somebody and then, okay, uh, this person has a need. You should be able to assist the person. The but essence, manage your expectations. What I am saying is mm. there's nothing wrong with paying someone's school fees, but there's everything wrong in paying and expecting that you'll be repaid okay anyway well well for me i will say we are not there we don't know the communication so we can't conclude the communication either. is that but he paid her fees okay. he did not marry okay. her this and is, she's this finished school she does the communication this, 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 she cannot marry this, this is the point because no I, the I one mean, that i, I, I was mean, talking about the one that sent to the one that i said he sent it on today's live platform from bainway Yes, I think oh, that's yeah, it. I think that was uh, what I was she using. told him that she cannot marry a poor man. That he doesn't have money. The and tax is why, still that's there. That's why I made the statement of him building himself as well. So you were building somebody and why did you not build you see, your own self as well? It's not wrong to that be was poor, my... you see? But it's, it's wrong to be poor and foolish at the same time. Ouch. These okay. two things are a combination. Yeah, they are a terrible yeah, combination. If you are in relationship <laughs> and you can do... It's called sacrifice. Solo, that's why I said solo I is called foolishness. If you have money to support somebody in school, support him in school, not because you are in love with the person. Yes. But you are in love with the person <laughs> and the person in the school, and you cannot give the person? No, you can. You but I'm saying, person, why are you the giving person, the person? Solo, why are you giving the person? No, that's why are you giving the person? That's why I say we are not there. When the why are you show. giving the person? You, you, if, you, if, you, you are giving an example with yourself. Why are you okay, giving the if person? If the lady that mm. I'm in a relationship mm. agree that at the end of the day we will marry, so I will not build her. Okay, that is a reason why you are you are supporting her. Yes, because okay. you are in a relationship. So you are in a relationship with Joyce and you are supporting her school fees. Yes. If Prudence is in the same need and you have money, can you support her? Why not? Okay. After Prudence graduates, she doesn't call you to say thank you. Will you be angry? You will not be angry, but you feel bad. Thank God. What about Joyce? If she graduates, she didn't say thank you, and she came to you with another man to say this is the man she's married. I'll be angry. Why? Because we have a relationship. There's a communication between me and her. No. Yes, sir. Sir. That's <laughs> yes. That, it, you are you are right because it's your opinion, but it's foolishness. <laughs> it's foolishness. It doesn't what? make sense. Why would I carry money? And support you for the simple reason that I am expecting something in a thin air. You don't even know that as you are supporting that lady, another man is sleeping with her. You don't even know. Well, she will answer that. <laughs> no, herself. that is what I'm saying. That is what I'm saying. And if you are also sleeping with her at the same time, you can get disease. Yes. Mm. You see, th there are a lot of things for us to look at. This issue of I'm paying your school fees. Right? Just because... When you are done with school, you will marry me. Habba! It's not just school fees. Are we trading monkeys? <laughs> Who will go and pay for a monkey that is on the tree? It was kill accusation. There are people that will sponsor, like they're already in relationship and they will just like learn this skill now. They sponsor the, the basic thing is, ah, uh, this is my girlfriend. She's in school. She needs school fees. I give you. Not because you will come and marry me. Mm -mbakwe. What's Mbakwe? <laughs> It sounds like something <laughs> that I cannot do in Ibo. So, it's, I can't do that. You see, I can give... There are people you don't even know. The beggar that you support on the street, do you know him? Mm -hmm. No, but you tip off and you drive off. You don't even expect... Tomorrow you come back and see the person begging. But what I'm saying is, sir, let us not bring upon ourselves ailments. Yes, exactly. Yeah, Very I true. saying, uh, I am... I, I, I am in relationship. Nage ya michizang aureishi. But I don't want to have a woman. Don't you be a mom bukata. Yeah, there are people like that. So it's calm. The reason why I said you should help me. You see why we said you should not do that kind of thing with this expectation. Because. That means she put him in his position that that he's building no, his so wife. No, no, no. That yeah, means understand. the guy agreed to foolishly fall into that scam. You cannot be a man and not be sensitive. You is can't it? be because. See. Anything a lady tells you, you agree because you love her. Mm -hmm. But you do it at will, not because you love her. Exactly. You do it at will. My mind is telling me to do it. If I do it because of love, the day you, you show me something otherwise, the show will go to 12.30 today. <laughs> you, know, <show> me. <laughs> you know, I just remembered this passage and I, I think we should drop it for this discussion. Mm -hmm. I think it is very essential mm -hmm. here. When, when the Bible says give, it said 
give not reluctantly or under compulsion because mm. God loves a cheerful giver. Mm. And a cheerful you giver does not... Saying, also, um, me, I wanted to do this for this person. Or because he did this, I refuse. Or you so promised this that you want to do you this for the person. Out of the cheerfulness that the guy is paying uh, Let me feet. let me land. Cheerful yeah. a cheerful giver does not give because he's expecting something in return. So Rather, he, a cheerful giver gives from the depth of his heart because that is what God has laid in his heart to do. At that people so at the end of the day, do not this, do a this, giving this this with person. expectation. If you are giving with expectation, you would hurt yourself. So just manage your expectation, but be a cheerful giver. Uh, no, no, choice, choice. <laughs> just think about it. Mm. As you are, you went to school, you are studying, you are at 200 level, and then you are almost out of school because you don't have anything. And then I came into your life. I said, Joyce, I'll support you. How much is your school fee? 150. Okay, take. Ah, I'm grateful, sir. Take. I'm grateful. Ah, finally, yeah, take. I'm grateful. And I come and start saying, Joyce, uh, you know, actually, the reason why I've been paying these fees is I'm investing <laughs> in you because of the future. Mm-hmm. And then Joyce tells me, sir, you're not even my type. <laughs> and I will be angry. I don't have rights to be angry. In the first place, why did I agree to support her? So you see, that's what Sambo Solomon is talking about—the fact that they had prior conversation. It's okay, we'll get married. I will support you. But then. why would <laughs> you agree for a lady to tell you that if you if you pay my school fees, you even sex at home when you eventually marry her, it will be under com- uh, 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 conditions. And then there are men again that will, will, will decide to sponsor you without any... There's no even relationship of between course, you. Of that's what I'm then saying. Then after sponsoring you, then they will not tell you that, eh, let's get married now. But me and you never agreed to you get see, married. So is, I have the will, right to say That's a foolish no. man. That's a foolish man. If you start developing love for the person that you are you are supporting, mm-hmm. keep, devol- keep developing the love. Talk about the love. And then if it yields to that, then unfortunately we cannot continue. The time is is fast spent. But if you yield to that and it used to, it, it used to that uh, uh, that point. Okay, I think next week we should talk about investments in relationship. Thank yes. you very much. <laughs> <laughs> See you on tomorrow is what Thursday. See you tomorrow Thursday. Thank you, Eka Executive, for giving us the opportunity to do this on air. Be kind to one another. We we'll see you tomorrow at 11 a.m. God bless you. <laughs>